The hub started because I got involved in city planning, but this works all over the country. It's local products. And if somebody comes to an area and likes it and they want to take something home to remind them of that place, this is truly the essence, the work here of New Simona Beach. Our artists come from Ormond Beach, across to Deland, and down to Oak Hill. I teach watercolor. I also work in acrylics. And um, right now I'm working on an experimental piece, which is on um, freezer paper. And this is my students' work up on the wall. And we, we paint on everything but traditional watercolor paper. We don't use traditional tube watercolors. We use liquid watercolors. And we paint on roofing paper. This is one that I'm working on right now, which is on roofing paper. And we also paint on plaster. I've always been interested in art, but I couldn't draw a straight line. I started out as a geologist. I worked for Texaco for 30 years. I was a geologist for Latin America and West Africa. And I saw some birds at a gallery in Hilton Head. And I said to myself, self, you can do that. And so I just taught myself how to do it. Basically, you start out as trying to replicate the personality of the bird. Otherwise, you end up with just a chick on a stick. There'd be little bitty a uh, bird, which is a little bee hummingbird, which is the world's smallest bird, up to the eagle head that I've done, and uh, so it makes no difference. I, I haven't got a favorite. What I want to do is learn and know. That's the objective. I am from Venezuela, and I have been here for 15 years already. When I was in Venezuela, I used to make the shoes. It was like 28 years ago. Uh, people in the little, little towns used to make the soles for me by hand and I fall in love with the process of the jute because it's 100% natural. And they wash the jute in the river and make the braid, you know, everything was beautiful. So I wanted to make shoes out of that and I started making them. Like two and a half years ago, I found the soles online. I just started making my shoes again. I quit my job. I was working for the bank system for a long time. And I just quit my job and got home and told my husband, I quit my job, I don't want to work for the system anymore because I want to follow my passion. I'm really happy doing this. It's not easy to follow your passion, but it pays to, to do what you really love and you really want. I think art is important because it speaks of the area. It speaks about the people who live here. It speaks about their creativity. It speaks about the town and what we really are. We've got over 70. I include there the artists who teach and the artists who teach once or keep their classes going. Um, they are truly artists. Yoga, meditation, movement, dance. Meeting the public as they come through a place like this, to me, is just as as, as rewarding as actually doing the bird itself. I like people. Many, many of these people could not afford this sort of premises on their own. So it's a co-op, it's an incubator system, it's, it's just wonderful. Um, and it, it gives me a huge sense of pride when they make their sales.